Okay, I'm going to take the couple seconds I have to say that everything I'm about to say is a complete lie. I run a startup, it's been a hellish week, I've lost my mind. But um, I've also spent a lot of time recently talking to other startup owners and this is some of the wisdom that I have learned in the last two and a half years and confirmed by them. Um, one is that a startup may seem like a good idea, you'll have free time to take vacations, uh-uh. Sole proprietorships maybe, but once you get into employees and other things, it's 24-7. Um, the biggest key to saving your sanity is to create a separation of your work and life. A lot of what I'm going to say is really common sense, but common sense flies out of your mind when you actually have a startup. First thing is, take a day off. <laughs> It's amazing how many people just are like, oh, I'll only do this for five minutes, three hours later, your day is half gone. So take a day off, only 12 hours, you can do it. And it will be hard. Your, your instincts will say, I just need to check my email one more time, or I need to do this one thing. Don't do it. Step away from the computer. <laughs> The other thing is, if you work from home, create a separate space. You're not going to get that distance if your computer is in your living room. If it's in your bedroom, you will see it. It will take you down to the dark side. Wall it off or go work someplace else. Um, and you will find that even though you're not working as many insane hours, the work you do will be much higher quality and you won't have to redo it. And you won't... Um, you'll, it will be better, trust me. <laughs> and um, many of us have families, kids, pets, whatever. Um, they will also appreciate that they are getting 100% of your attention because you are giving them designated time. The other thing is you need to remember to reward yourself. I'm lousy at this, but I'm all about the pellets. Um, I was a psych major and you know, if you need to do something icky and you will as a startup owner, Give yourself a reward. It doesn't matter what it is. It could be chocolate. It can be going to see a movie. It doesn't matter. Figure out what your pellet is and give it to yourself when you deserve it. And be generous with when you deserve it. Don't be skimpy with your pellets. It's important. The other thing is um, just like, and I, I've actually spoken to a bunch of new parents who are also startup owners. People don't understand how, what you're going through. They think they do. They don't. <laughs> So it's really critical that you find other startup owners who can really feel your pain because they'll get it. So get together and commiserate. Your calendars will be hell, but find that time. It's worth it. Think of it as a pellet, actually. Um, the other thing is you are a person first. And this is one of those things where you can kind of get on that treadmill and be like, no, I just got to plow through this, I got to plow through this, I got to plow through this. Even startup owners need to play hooky. <laughs> so there are just days when, when you need to walk away from it all, it will be okay. Step away from the computer, step away from your desk, and just go do something fun. You will find that everything will seem better at the end. Um, hobbies, you won't get, have any, but find them. The one thing I have done that has kept me absolutely sane in the last year and a half is I do not schedule anything against marimba on Monday nights. If I can't hit mallets on pieces of wood, I lose my mind. No one wants to be around me. The other thing is um, it's really easy, because um, nobody sits the end of your day, to just keep going until you crash at your computer. That is a bad idea. Take at least half an hour um, before you go to bed and set a bedtime. This is important. Set a bedtime and take a half hour to wind down, drink tea, read a book, take a bath, but that's going to actually help you get through the night because <laughs> otherwise you're going to do what um, a lot of people do, myself included, where you wake up in the middle of the night and find that piece of paper to write down your thoughts and then you're up for the rest of the night and then the next day sucks. So just really kind of get through that wind down period. Like I said, this is all glaringly obvious, but sometimes you just need to be reminded of the obvious. I'm Eva Cat Herter on um, Twitter, so anyone wants to commiserate with me, I'm all for it. Thank you.